Bruce is a tree and walker coon hound. He's a dog that has absolutely no fur. He only has hair. Consequently, all year round, he's pretty, pretty cold. So he actually loves to wear scarves. And I always get stopped and people say, I've never seen a dog with a scarf on. So I'm gonna show you some of the scarves that Bruce has and give you ideas. So one thing that I buy for Bruce are infinity scarves. These scarves can be found at places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, H&M, Uniqlo. And all you have to do is flip it over his head once, loop it, and loop it. And then it's on. And I like buying scarves that are contrasting colors to Bruce's fur, so I like getting bright color scarves. Some scarves wrap twice, some wrap three times. So that's one option. It's probably a, a polyester blend or wool blend. Um, so it's you know just a simple infinity scarf that you find. Um, often, you know, you can find a smaller scarf that's more of like a um, a shawl, and this one will wrap twice around his head, and you just need to wrap it tight once and then put it on and you can see the contrasting pink and gray to his fur and his, his coloring um, and he really likes it. It keeps him warm and you know he's ready to go. Um, these are for days when it's not super cold because he has his share of jackets. He doesn't mind taking them on and off. You know it's just like any other. So this one is more a lighter weight scarf that's probably a, a cotton blend of some sort has some metallic to it, so it kind of gives them a little shine. It's a little bit looser, so it's actually a nice scarf for the spring and fall when he doesn't really need one. So it keeps a little looser, and it's um, cotton, so it's a little bit lighter. Um, and it's, there's not that much contrast, but the sparkle kind of gives it some interest. So here's a much heavier Infinity scarf. And this one is nice um, because it has a fleece lining. This one I use a lot in the winter with a jacket. Um, just it really keeps him warm, but it's a one that will wind three times around his head. The third time gets a little bit tighter, but he, he doesn't seem to mind too much. So make sure to pull their ears out. So, and this one doesn't have a lot of contrast, but it definitely keeps him warm. So, and he really likes, you know, being bundled up. So, we live in both Chicago and New York City, and when we're in New York, we walk all the time, and so he's out in the cold, and sometimes we stop, and, you know, those kind of things keep him warm. So, this scarf is, you know, it has a lot of contrast between reds and grays and blacks, more of a maroon. And again, it can go three times around his head. And then you can also spin it to you know, find the color combination you like the best. And you know, he may not look like he likes it, but he really does. <laughs> so this is a scarf I bought at an, at an art show. It's more of a, a shawl. And this one can just be worn like that. It has a, a bow here and you can just tighten the bow and it keeps it tighter around his, his body and keeps it in place. It does tend to stretch out a little bit here, but you can also use it as an infinity scarf. So um, all you do is loosen this up and then double wrap it around him. So, but it's, it's from an art show and it was um, you know, a handmade scarf and maybe it's something you can make as well. Um, here's another infinity scarf, which will at least triple wrap. And it's got a lot of contrast to his coloring. So, and it's kind of a waffle texture. So, that's a good one for him. Gives him a lot of attention where, when he wears it because it's, you know, it really contrasts to his own coloring. So, um, another one is kind of a, a simple, and this is one again is good for the, for the fall because of its coloring and it's a little bit lighter weight. It's probably all cotton. So it says Express on it, so it must have come from Express. I'll also find scarves at Goodwill or Salvation Army and and wash them when I get home and 
you know, make sure that the scarf says it's hand washable. So it's, you know, it's um, you know, something you can be clean before you put it on your dog. And then you can clean it because they, they will get somewhat dirty as well. Another one I have here is this animal print. It's like a leopard print or something. It's got more of a, a silky lining, but it, it also looks animally on him. It wraps three times and keeps him nice and warm and you know, he likes that. So it feels good and it gives him some sense of, of um, you know, how he's gonna feel for the day and the look he's gonna have. So anyway, that'll give you some idea. I'll see if he'll sit here for one second and stay while I set, shut off the camera and maybe he will pose for a second and stay there. And we'll see if that works. You can stay there, Bruce. And once you're done, he's done.